hi guys welcome to my channel it support people this is masood in this video i'll show you how to convert cisco access point from lightweight to autonomous or standalone version basically this video is uh, pretty much unique because uh, in youtube you will find lots of video about how to convert cisco ap from lightweight to autonomous version but those videos are a bit uh, complex and sometimes make uh, confusion but in my videos i have demonstrated the whole process following some very easy steps uh, so that everyone can understand and uh, this video works 100 percent so hope uh, you will uh, enjoy this video so let's get started please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the all the latest video which i'll create in future let me describe you the network topology here i have used one uh, home router and the poe injector uh, this one the cisco lightweight ap and the laptop with tftp server uh, i have used here a home router uh, if you want you can use cisco router but the condition is the cisco lightweight ap and the laptop with the tftp server must be the same network so yes uh, uh, in this video i have used home router and you can see the yellow ports are the lan port and the home router is dhcp enabled so uh, this uh, uh, one connection LAN connection is going to the PoE injector the LAN in and the data out is going to the Ethernet port of the lightweight access point and the other LAN connection uh, goes to the laptop as you see the both connection the, uh, the connection from uh, uh, home router to the access point and the connection from home router to the uh, laptop is from the same DCP and you can see uh, the IP uh, of the access lightweight access point and the laptop is from the same network 192.168.1.4 and this one is a 1.7 so it's fulfilling the condition and uh, this connection is uh, the console cable connection so I'll go to the next step now I'll show you the physical connection of this network uh, you can see this is uh, my home router the your uh, this connection is coming from the ISP and the YOLO ports are the LAN ports and um, this is the PoE TP-Link PoE injector. This one is my Cisco access point. You can check the model. Uh, this is a Cisco Aronet uh, 3602i lightweight version access point. Now I will connect uh, one uh, Ethernet cable to the LAN port of my uh, home router. I will connect in the fast port. And the uh, other end of this Ethernet cable, uh, I will connect to the uh, LAN in. You can see the LAN in. Yeah, the LAN input of the PoE injector. You can see the uh, uh, power or data out uh, will go to the. Uh, you can see the access point, the Ethernet port of this access point. Yes, yes, uh, you can see the access point is uh, turning on. Now I will connect uh, another Ethernet cable to the second LAN port of my home router. Yes and uh, other end of this uh, ethernet cable will go to uh, the ethernet port of my uh, laptop where the tftp server is installed now i will connect console cable to this uh, access point yes so these are the requirements uh, first you need a tftp d64 server then you need a ios k9 w7 uh, standalone image for uh, 36003 is uh, ap and another requirement is uh, uh, the cisco ap and the laptop with the tftp server must be in the same network here you can see uh, this is uh, the tftp server i have already installed it and uh, i'll give the uh, link in the description to download the tftp server and uh, in this folder um, you can see uh, this is the um, standalone uh, k9 w7 image i have already downloaded it and i will uh, also give the uh, link in the description to download the standalone image for 36003 uh, access point uh, first we have to uh, access the Cisco access point and check the BBI uh, one interface to access the Cisco, uh, Cisco access point through party first we have to check the COM port number so type device manager so device manager and uh, we have to go to the port you can see the COM port 9 so just double click party and change the COM port number to 9 uh, make sure you uh, select the serial so let's open it yes and just uh, enter yes the username is uh, cisco capital c c i s c o cisco and uh, again 
Cisco, the password is Cisco, C I S C O, username and the password is same. So we have to go to the privilege mode in above. Again, the password Cisco, C I S C O, Cisco, yes, access denied, in above. Cisco, yes. So finally, we uh, successfully access the access point. Now we will check the uh, IP address. So show IP interface brief so you can see that uh, the bvi1 interface is uh, 192.168.1.4 so uh, same like our net uh, that's why we i write the uh, bvi interface ip 192.168.1.4 now i'll uh, check the ip of my laptop uh, where uh, for this laptop where the tftp server is installed so go to common prompt cmt yes type ip config yes here you can see the ipv4 address is 192.168.1.7 so that's why i have uh, already written 192.168.1.7 so there was a uh, requirement that uh, the cisco ap and the laptop must be in the same network so yeah here you can see that uh, this, these two are in the same network now i will uh, quickly check the version uh, of this uh, access point so let's uh, show uh, version so you can see that uh, these are the version uh, cisco ios software ap 3 g 2 k 9 w 8 k 9 w 8 means it's a uh, uh, lightweight version currently this one is lightweight version so we will uh, uh, convert it to autonomous so if you go further uh, you can see uh, that uh, the access point has uh, 32 uh, kilobyte of flash memory so yes so we'll check the flash drive as well uh, show flash so so these are the files currently currently stored in the flash drive of this uh, lightweight version access point so uh, before conversion what i'll do first i'll uh, erase uh, everything uh, from the flash drive because uh, 32 kilobit uh, space is not enough for uh, two images so first i'll erase it uh, so to erase i have to write the command uh, format format flash so yes it's asking for confirmation yes confirm again confirm so it's not uh, it's now uh, formatting the flash drive yes uh, the erase is done so if we check the flash drive again show sorry so show flash show show flash so nothing to show so that's why the flash is uh, uh, erased now we have to configure the tftp server so let's uh, do this just open it yes uh, this is the tftp uh, server so first we have to uh, put the ip uh, address of this uh, laptop so just click here from the drop down we know the ip address for this laptop is 192.168.1.7 if we go to common prompt 192.168.1.7 so we have to select 1.7 and then we have to uh, we have to show the uh, the file directory uh, where the image is uh, stored so this is the folder which is located in the desktop so we will show this path so just browse and uh, yes so from the desktop aronet one okay so we just uh, showed the path and the server ip address then we have to go to setting and we have to uh, again show the directory so user desktop aronet one okay here we have to select uh, progress yes and the bind a f uh, tftp on the address we have to select 192.168.1.7 it will show the progress bar standard then go to dhcp leave as it is and the dns tftp and the global only tftp server so basically these are the settings for uh, tftp server 
so click ok yes so ok we have uh, configured the tftp server and we check the ip uh, for bvi uh, one interface of the cisco access point so our next step uh, next step is to uh, transfer the uh, standalone image to cisco access point using tftp server and pressing the uh, mode button of uh, cisco access point so let's uh, do this uh, i will uh, take out the ethernet cable from the uh, cisco access point yes so now uh, i will uh, you can see this uh, here is a button down here this is the mode button here written mode so i have to press the mode button yes i am yeah i already pressed the mode button and i have to put back the ethernet cable uh, again yes uh, yes i put back the ethernet cable and i'm still holding the mode button and i have to hold the mode button until the light uh, turns to amber you can see the light is flashing yeah the light turns to amber i release the mode button yes yeah, so now the access point uh, is uh, in online so we'll put uh, we'll set a bvi one uh, ip address so set uh, set uh, IP ADDR address uh, BVI1 IP address was 192.168.1.4 enter and then we'll set the uh, network uh, subnet mask set uh, net mask NT net mask MS net mask 255.255.255.0 yes then we will set the default router as i said earlier the default router would be the ip address of the laptop where the tftp server is installed so set default router router underscore router default router will be 192.168.1.7 enter uh, then we have to type tftp in it tf tp slash init that is success and then ether init ether init okay uh, then flash init yeah that's already initialized so now we have to extract the uh, uh, standalone uh, image ios image to the access point so that's why we have to type tar extract tftp yeah the ip address of the tftp server 192.168.1.7 uh, slash uh, the file name we just copy the file name yes here we just copy the full name of the file yes and then flash flash then press enter now it you can see the file is uh, being transferred through tftp server you can see the progress here I'm just uh, skipping this portion. Yes, extracting is uh, done, uh, transferring is done. So, so now we'll check the flash uh, drive. So just uh, dir flash so these are the files stored in the flash drive now currently so 
then we uh, next we have to set the boot so you have to copy the this uh, file you can see the k9 w7 so we need to copy this one control c then set boot flash just paste once we have to paste twice just paste it enter then set you can see the default dot one eighty two dot one sixty eight dot one dot seven IP address one dot four net mask. So now we have to boot. Yes. Now the access point is rebooting. Yes, the access point has uh, rebooted successfully. We go to enable. Uh, the password is Cisco capital C C I S C O. Yes, so we'll check the you can see the hostname has changed now, it's only a uh, small AP. So, check the version show version. You can see uh, the Cisco iOS version is now K9W7. So, we have successfully uh, converted the Cisco lightweight access point to uh, uh, autonomous access point. So yeah, we'll check the flash drive as well. Yeah, show flash. Yes, uh, these are the files uh, stored in the flash drive. These are the K9 double seven email file. So yes, now we'll change the host name for this AP. Just uh, uh, go to configuration terminal. You can see we can, now we can access the configuration terminal. Configuration terminal. Yes. So we'll change the host name. Host name. We'll change it AP1. AP1. Yes. Do copy. Do copy run store. Confirm. Yes. Exit. So yeah, that's done. We have successfully converted the lightweight access point to uh, autonomous or standalone access point. If you think this video is helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and you can let me know any queries through comments. Your little appreciation will inspire me to make the next video. Thanks for watching.